Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's session we will be talking about how to delete selected triangles from a surface in Trimble Access. For this video we will be using Trimble Access version 2016.10 or later, a Trimble data collector, either a TSC3 or a tablet, and a data set to create a sample surface from. We will first create a surface in the map screen and then show you how to delete unwanted members from the surface. Alright, so here's our survey. Um, this is what the map looks like for our, our boundary shots, creating a perimeter around the site that we want to create a surface on. Um, so you'll see here, all the way around we shot some, uh, we shot some topo points, um, and what we want to do is create a surface out of this uh, selection of points. So what I'll do is use my select tool and draw a box around all of my points that I want to create a surface out of. I can tap and hold on the screen and choose create surface. And I'll just type in a surface name, hit OK, and then it generates my, my surface model here, uh, coloring in the gradient. And you can see that I have a portion of, uh, of what I see on the screen here um, it's drawing in a surface outside of my boundary. So anywhere where there's a concave uh, shape within uh, my boundary here, it's drawing in a surface connecting these outer points to these outer points. But that's incorrect to how we want to generate our surface. So there's a new tool in Trimble Access version 2016.10 where we can trim these edges. We can actually delete out these unwanted triangles from our surface. In order to do that, we first need to turn on our triangles, which can be found under the view settings. And then under the surface uh, portion, display triangles. So we'll turn on our triangles, and now we can see those connection lines here connecting um, these outer points to these outer points. And what we want to do is remove all of this information from, from our surface. We only want what is inside the perimeter here. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just prove that um, it is calculating a surface area for this entire portion. And then when, once we delete out those unwanted triangles, that it does update that surface area. So. I'm going to hit the escape button, go into Kogo, compute volume, and then generate a surface area off of our surface here. And we see that it's uh, 80,423 uh, square feet. Okay, so we'll remember that number. All right, so going back into the map now, looking at our surface, we can use the select tool and select which triangles that we want to delete. So we can um, actually do a mass selection of the triangles and then tap and hold on the screen and choose delete selected triangles. And those will be removed now from our uh, surface model. So we can do this with all of the uh, unwanted portions of our surface. And now I have um, just about what I want to um, calculate a volume out of. I have everything within my perimeter here. I'm happy with what I have. So now I can go back into my um, Kogo compute volume and recompute a surface area um, after the edits and you'll see that the surface area does update there to the correct surface area. Um, then I can um, also use the different methods for computing volumes, uh, calculate and store those uh, volumes for a computation report. Now going back to the map, if there are any points that you see that are um, within the perimeter that were uh, uh, either there was a rod height bust or, or something that you want to delete out of the, the middle of your perimeter, um, you would just need to um, select all your points and then deselect that one point to create a new surface. Um, but hopefully this should help you uh, add more value to your field 
data collection workflow and uh, surface creation. This is something that you can do in Trimble Business Center very easily uh, using the Remove Members tool under the Surfaces tab. However, um, this wasn't a possibility up till now in Trimble Access. Uh, again, you will need to update to Trimble Access 2016.10 to use that Trim Surfaces tool or that Delete um, Selected Triangles tool. Thank you. If you have any questions regarding this process, please contact us at survey underscore support at frontierprecision.com.